I know I look crazy right now. Don't even do me. In the comments, we about to do our hair. I was cute yesterday, okay? Boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. I make a lot of love on a Monday. Just dip your hair in. And you're also going to get a facial because it's hot as hell. And boom. What y'all think? I'm a rock star, smash my guitar. I'll come through on that bigger jet. Make niggas stare at my hands, even though I am not my man. Diamonds on my ring and on my arms. Watch me flex on y'all. Hey y'all, it's just every May. I know I look crazy right now. Don't even do me. In the comments, we about to do our hair. I was cute yesterday, okay? We're gonna start a picture. I was cute, I was fly, I was popping, alright? But I had a rough ass night. Do y'all want a quick rant? Girl, why my roof was leaking? Now that I just moved into my place and we already having foundational issues. Like, baby, I was going through the motions, went to sleep, did not wrap my hair. But today I am inspired to do something different, something I've never done before. I don't even know how to take this bun out. I am struggling. And I also use rubber bands, so hopefully I don't pull my hair out. But anyways... I am inspired today to do something for the girlies who are on a budget, okay? Because I am on a budget, and it's cold outside, and I don't feel like going to a beauty supply, and I have one pack of hair. So, I am about to do this inspired look. Pop another picture. Um, but I'm going to spice it up a little bit, okay? That's what inspired means. Not exactly um, following after the person, but I'm about to do that style. I'm going to shorten it, though. Because I don't have much hair. I have one pack of hair. So that's the challenge. Because I don't know if I explained that. I only have one pack of hair. And I'm going I'm to show y'all the pack. She is 28 inches though. So I think if I sh uh, cut her. I can you know get more bang out of the buck. Because I'm not going outside at all. Oops curl is cute. I'm not going outside. So today's challenge is to do my hair in braids. Really cute style. I'm going to do like a little heart shape thing that is going viral right now it's very trendy and i'm going to try to attempt to do my hair with one pack of braided hair and we're gonna see if i can do it but before we get started i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all i have to take this waist trainer off i got a waist trainer on right now and can y'all see i have a waist trainer on right now and it's killing me softly I hope that was the angle we had. It's killing me softly, baby, so gotta take it off. Gotta take it off. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't know how to BBL girls do it, wearing them down. What's this? What is it even called? Because I don't even know. I cannot recall right now what that thing is called that they be wearing. Um, But I can't breathe. So, that had to go. But this is the hair that I will be using. It's the three times free trust braid 301 in natural texture. My mama texted me. It is 28 inches. Screenshot. Okay. I plan on cutting it this way so I can turn the three into six. And then I may cut it this way and turn the six into 12. If that makes sense. Um. But we're going to see. You're going to need a brush to detangle. You're going to need a comb to part. This is my favorite parting comb. She's dutty, but she works. You're going to need some scissors for the hair, the added hair, not your hair. And then, you know, at the end, you're going to need your edge brush, whatever edge control you like. I like to use the Style Factor Edge Booster. Love her. I am using almost made it fall i'm using this hair rock from amazon okay but yeah let's get started okay so i went ahead and i um detangle my hair and I sectioned off the added pieces of hair that we're going to incorporate and I only cut one piece of the three piece pack because I want to make sure I'm not 
doing something wrong you know what i'm saying um i would suggest that you go ahead and like feather the hair out before you put it on here i'm going to eventually do it but that will make your process even quicker and now i'm going to get into sectioning my hair okay right here um this is going to be a braid that's going to be a braid and this is going to be half of the heart i'm literally following the screenshot that i posted and then these are going to be the first two sections in the back i think i'm going to braid these down first because this is going to be the hardest like that i just know that the heart braid is probably going to give me some struggles so just follow along all right if you have any questions comment down below myself because I did it like a thousand and twelve times before I figured it out but I had to braid all of this underhanded and I've never done that before even like the regular braid right here I had to do it underhanded because I realized that when I did it over it wasn't laying flatly but it's super duper cute okay like even where I have my baby hairs laid out and it looks like a heart doesn't it I'm excited so now I get to show you guys how to do it on this side um oh I thought this was going to be the easiest side to do but baby I honestly do not even know I had to take a break though after I accomplished that I was like girl you deserve you some food so I ordered I ordered some uber eats but let's do this side okay so basically as far as parting you want this part to be the half of your heart um and then i gotta do the other half of the heart oh my god <sighs> i also did my heart too wide i think but who the fuck cares because ain't no way i'm doing that over okay um now the hard part is me trying to mimic uh fuck me
as you can see, I'm currently putting in my flexi rods because I wanted the ends to be curly. But, you guys, I made it by the skin of my teeth with doing the whole um, one thing of hair. But we made it. I'm going to show y'all how much hair I got left over. Um, some of these flexi rods are playing with me. First off, I had only found seven flexi rods. That wasn't going to work. But I did some more searching and I found some other ones. I got my water bottle on the stove right now. I have one more flexi rod to do. Make sure that your ends are fully braided down. I've been having to braid down the ends over. But you guys. Oh, I also have a scarf on right now because I want to flatten my hair. Because some of them were looking a little bulky. And I don't even understand how. Because I took my time with all of them. Um, So... Yeah, I'm on my last flexi rod. What I do is take the hair and I wrap it and I secure the end by folding it up. I don't put no product on it, none of that. I just use the flexi rod to like lock it in place basically. Um, and then I wrap it up. I make sure the length is good. And yeah, we are good to go. And this was the amount of hair that I had left over. Just these three pieces. So I did that, y'all. I went through almost a whole day one thing of Edge Booster. Which honestly made me mad as fuck. Because, oh baby, Edge Booster is expensive. Like, that ain't no dag on regular degular shining jam. I'm coming out here without a towel. Let me go get a towel for my hair. But, like, that's not no regular regular shiny jam, y'all. I was actually irritated because that's all I had. Like, when I tell you I got in the... I'm taking y'all all over my place. Lo siento. But when I tell you I just got in the mood to do my hair and I wanted to use whatever I had because it's cold as outside. That's exactly what I did. So, I'm about to do this in my kitchen. I hate doing hair in the kitchen. It irritates me. That's disgusting. Like, it's unsanitary. And let me not show y'all the mess I got in the background. Because, y'all, my ceiling was leaking. But anyways, um, I'm literally about to just dump my hair in the pot of water. I'm going to bleach and sanitize the freak out of this pot later. So, don't judge me. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, use the towel to dry them. Let me turn y'all this way. Y'all can see. It's hot, but he, he go to pot. You see this thing? It's right here, girl. Just dip your hair in. And you're also going to get a facial because it's hot as hell. You guys, this is making my nose run. This is not cute. Oh my God, this is not cute. I try to like dip my hair so like the more of the braid that gets into the water the better the seal the, the better sealed they'll be you know what I'm saying so I try to get as low as possible but I'm struggling and I just let it sit in there for however long I feel like it yeah please like this video because I've been through a lot with y'all today like stop playing okay take them out try not to get water on yourself because it's gonna be hot as hell the things we do for beauty. Why am I this close to the camera? <laughs> oh, my God, that's embarrassing. I always keep the stove on the pot until I'm fully done because, ouch, sometimes they don't be, like, they don't be curled correctly. I just burnt myself. <sighs> okay, you guys, I'm going to come back when it's time to take them out because this is not cute. You guys, they are cute. Sorry, I've been listening to music in between me filming but they are cute they came out perfect i didn't even like wait for them to dry the whole entire time they're still wet um i just had to make sure that they was cute and they are like sometimes curly ends do it for me when it comes to braids oh this one did not <gasps> who feels like recurling that not me not me, but I have to because that's ugly. Okay, y'all, 
Okay, that one wants to act a little janky, but it's good enough. They're cute to me. So cute. I have a favorite side. It's, it's this side because I think the heart came out better on this side. But I like them. So now it is time to do my baby hairs. It's my favorite. I'm realizing I didn't leave any hair out in the middle. Ew, now there's hair stuck on here. So hopefully I like the way it looks with just a little two swoops. But I want them to look natural, so sometimes I put like water on my hair mixed with the edge booster because sometimes the edge booster be like too strong of a hoe, if that makes sense. How cute is that giving? I think it is. Ow. One thing about me, I'm gonna do my hair just a thousand and one times. It's cute, but. Do I need something in the middle, y'all? I think I do. Let me pull out any hair I got right here. <laughs> because, no. Something, girl. I had to put some, pull some hair out in the middle. And now, I'm going to take this piece of hair. Slightly curly. I know I'm looking at a very, I'm, I'm at a very rear angle. And I apologize. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. But, oh, girl, that did not even curl. It's because I'm trying to hurry up and be done with this. I feel like I've been doing my hair all day. Fun fact, I only put a little bit of the edge control at the top. I don't put it on the curl because that would defeat the purpose. And then I just swoop it to how I want it to go. And I kind of like use my finger to stop it, like stop the edge control from touching the part that I curl. Because if you get the edge control on that part, it's going to like clump up. <gasps> How stinking cute! And boom! What y'all think? cute style for someone who is on the go like I think it's a really cute style for someone who wants their hair done really quickly doesn't want to spend a lot of money you know what I'm saying um times out the the heart part was not done quickly not even gonna have to but I like this style. okay so if you like it let me know in the comments down below the way I did it kind of reminds me of the um coil array braids just in a longer style but I like them. I'll probably have these in until like Friday and it's Monday right now. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next tutorial. Bye, mamas.